Hi guys, so what I'm going to show you is what we can use version history for in Microsoft Office. Now in Microsoft Word and Excel and PowerPoint, there's a lovely thing called version history. Provided you have got OneDrive running on your computer and you're signed in, okay, so you signed in here with your work or school account and you're signed in on OneDrive with your work or school account, then this will work just like a charm. Have a look. Uh, here I have a document that I've been working on and adding some things and changing some things and just saving as I go. The auto save is on. The reason this works so well is because this is in my OneDrive. So the moment I change anything, it's automatically saving. So auto save is actually really, really nice. However, if you're busy working and then you go and delete something by accident and then it saves and then you can't undo for some reason, there's no need to panic because that's what the version history is for. At the top of my document, there where the name of the document is, I'm just going to click on it. I can change the name if I want to. I can change the location as long as it stays in your OneDrive. Here is a version history. Let's have a look. So I click on version history and as you can see, there are one, two, three, four versions, four versions of this document. So things that I've done and changed in the past. So if here is the, the current one here and if I go down to the the bottom let's see what that looks like that's actually what it looked like about 10 minutes ago so that's the version that was saved 10 minutes ago I can restore this version or I can compare it to the existing version and I can actually see well that's all the stuff that I've changed added and taken away it's actually quite handy so that's a different version there I can close this one I'm not going to save that uh, I'm not going to do any of those close that as well if I go to this version over here you can see up oh, there we go and I can see if there are any changes there so that's in a nutshell is what version history is actually about uh, let me just close this all here show you where it is so make sure that autosave is on number one number two make sure that obviously the autosave is on in your OneDrive in fact you won't be able to switch on autosave if the file is not in your OneDrive so it's kind of like a, a, a helpful tip there because when you switch it on it's going to make you put it in your OneDrive anyway so that's cool and then at the top there just click over there and you can then go to version history and see the previous versions of your file. Also handy if you're sharing this file with someone and they go make all kinds of crazy changes, you can just go back a few steps, back a few versions before they made all their crazy changes and uh, restore your work. So there you go, version history.